Congratulations, Stephen, on your deal. Curious, as were the analysts this morning on the conference call, apparently, as to what you might do with the 3.3 billion raise. Uh, good morning, Vani, and uh, thank you. It's great to be here. And, uh, you know, I think that's uh, a great question, and it's one that we have options. Uh, clearly, we've been successful in deploying capital for organic and, and M&A, uh, but we also will be mindful of uh, overall shareholder return. And so we have uh, three to six months to think about this before we close this deal, and, and we look forward to making the best decisions for our shareholder. How big are the separation costs in this deal? Uh, that's, it's not very material. It's in the range of about $20 million of um, stranded costs that we, we just need to make sure get eliminated as we pass on to Worley Parsons, our, uh, our you know, global energy chemicals and resources group. Steve, the market obviously likes the deal. We've seen the shares go up about 6% already this morning. Why is Jacobs a better company today than it was before this deal? Yeah, it's great to see the market reaction. Uh, you know, really, the, the whole strategy here is to optimize the portfolio, to focus on more, more higher margin, higher growth businesses where national governments and our commercial clients are prioritizing. And, and so buildings, infrastructure, advanced facilities, our aerospace technology, environmental nuclear business, we feel like that's the place to be over the next many years. Let's just pick up on that infrastructure point. Uh, I think post-deal, the company is about 70 percent exposed to the U.S. Trump obviously has been very vocal about his infrastructure plans, a trillion and a half that he wants to go with. Are you seeing any of that yet, or has it been sort of a disappointment so far? No, the infrastructure business has been uh, pretty, very positive uh, recently, and, and not just in the U.S., but on a global basis. Aging infrastructure, urbanization, resiliency issues, but also the desire for more smart infrastructure, smart buildings, smart transportation. Um, I could go on, but it's happening everywhere around the world. But the desire in the U.S. is, is obviously there, as we've, we've noted, but have you actually seen that spend start to come through and affect the business? Yeah, absolutely. We, uh, we're working on uh, several new projects around modernization of airports everywhere from LAX, O'Hare, LaGuardia, uh, major highway programs. I, I, we have not been limited by any funding issues so far in the U.S., uh, and we look forward to hopefully some of the more robust funding that the Trump administration is pushing through to, to ultimately happen. What about the outlook for aerospace, Stephen? Yeah, the, uh, our, you know, our whole aerospace business is, is exciting. Uh, you know, we're, we're very much involved in deep exploration. We have thousands of Jacobs employees working in across all of the NASA sites uh, on, on every day sort of managing the mission, but especially uh, the SLS Orion mission going up into space and eventually to Mars. Well, that's exciting. Uh, I'm wondering about valuation. The $3.3 billion, how was it arrived at? Do you feel it was fair? Obviously, you're happy with it. Yeah, we see this as a clear win-win for both Worley Parsons and Jacobs. From our standpoint, we, we feel like we got a, a very attractive value, premium value for, for, the, uh, for our business, uh, 11 and a half times our trailing 12-month adjusted EBITDA is, uh, I would say, above market. But at the same time, Worley Parsons has tremendous opportunities for synergies, especially on the growth side. And so when you look at their net synergy multiple and, and our multiple, it, it's, a, it's a clear win-win for both companies. Steve, one thing that's really interesting to me is that one of the benefits that you guys cite about this deal is that it gets you out of, I suppose, the cyclical nature of the energy business. Oddly, one of the things that Wally Parsons cites as being a benefit is it gets them into that cyclicality and actually gives them some diversification through the cycle. Is that just a difference of philosophies in the way these businesses should work? You know, I think when you're in a business like the energy, chemicals and resources, scale is important. Uh, and also end-to-end -end solutions are important as well. And what Jacobs brings to Worley Parsons now is the complete picture for energy chemicals and resources, everything from upstream refining chemicals, but also strengthening their renewable energy and, and, uh, and innovation, digital solutions. And so for Worley Parsons, for them, it's a great way to focus 100% on that while we focus 100% on becoming a solutions provider in infrastructure, government services, and advanced facilities.